from Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. 59 years ago, Walter Cronkite delivered the devastating news, confirming the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. In the decades that followed, conspiracy theories have surrounded the president's death. From the grassy knoll shooter to suspected ties connecting assassin Lee Harvey Oswald with Russia or the mob, Gallup has found that a majority of Americans still believe more than one person was involved in the plot to kill Kennedy. Now there's more speculation after the White House released most but not all of the remaining classified files. While the government just disclosed more than 13,000 documents on the 1963 killing, over 4,000 remain redacted. Some have called the partial release, quote, half a loaf. They say the Biden administration is withholding information that could fuel further conspiracy theories. What has been uncovered has so far not changed the official narrative on Kennedy's assassination nor has it identified any previously unknown suspects or conspirators. However, experts say it does shed new light on what law enforcement was doing leading up to the murder. Larry Sabato, a leading Kennedy scholar, says there is evidence the shooting in Dallas could have been prevented. He accuses the CIA and FBI of not doing their jobs to stop it. Other details from the newly released records include documents relating to Oswald's Mexico City visit just weeks before Kennedy's assassination, Oswald's trip to Finland from the same year he defected to the Soviet Union, and information on U.S. covert ops intended to destabilize the Cuban government. Despite the absence of any earth-shattering revelations, experts are preparing to take a fine-toothed comb to this sea of documents. Over the next several months, the records will be analyzed extensively by academics in search of any clues to the mysteries surrounding this landmark event in American history.